We've got this whole world language of nonverbal behavior that's going on when, even when we're talking. Psychologist David Matsumoto has made a career out of focusing on what people don't say. The face conveys so much information. He works with police and experts around the world to find the truth by reading faces. When people are telling a lie and it's a high stakes situation and they don't want to get caught, there's often inconsistency between the verbals and the nonverbals. What do you see in this TV interview with the highest paid player in baseball? For the record, have you ever used performance enhancing substance? No. No. Did you see that? Yeah. He said no, but his nonverbal said yes. He curled his lip right there on the left side and that's a, that's a reliable sign of contempt. And so what he's doing, he's saying no, but he's signaling yes and he's showing you that he's contemptuous. So that picture that you're getting in this, in this combination of messages is not very consistent. A few months after this interview, Alex Rodriguez admitted to using steroids. Dr. Matsumoto says despite where you're from, what gender, what background, what age, people all show the same seven universal emotions the same way. Now his latest study is digging deeper into our emotions. Matsumoto took his theory to the Athens Olympics. This is the gold medal match in judo. Matsumoto knows the sport well. He was the Olympic head coach for several years. He found that emotions are not learned, but something that we're all born with. This big, broad, huge smile that, is, that just happens as an immediate, automatic, unconscious uh, reaction. Pure joy, not unusual here, but at the Paralympics a few weeks later, the blind winners who have never seen another person smile had the exact same response, revealing that we are born knowing how to express these emotions. We've got over 40 muscles in the face that can move independently of each other. And with, with 40 different muscles, you can have a lot of different combinations. And when you have almost perfect concordance between blind and sighted people, that's like an amazing finding. And proof that you can't hide your emotions. Jacqueline London reporting.